Hello everyone, he is a pretty back with another deck review. This is the Dirty Deck from Saturn Young and Sandbox Mode. Um, it was from Kickstarter going back several months ago. I didn't actually back this one. I did, but I jumped out of it for whatever reason. This wasn't into it too much, but I did end up getting one in anyway. Uh, Special thanks to Sandbox Mode for sending me a deck to review. If you are interested in this deck, there's a special deal you can get right now. All you have to do is send them a payment via PayPal to Sandbox Mode LLC at gmail.com for $22. Free shipping worldwide. You get two decks. All you have to do is mention this deal from Vigil Save 32. Any PayPal payment in the comments, write that it's for this deal, and you'll get the two decks. So it's a pretty good deal. I will put the info again in the description box below, as well as I will also post a, post a link to where you can buy them via Amazon. Anyways, so let's look at the front of the top case here. It's a San and Young's Derby deck on top, roller derby playing cards on the bottom, and you see a roller skate, old school roller skate with a club pip on it it is a roller derby slash um tattoo theme deck the front the sides it says san and young's derby deck playing cards and the other side same thing a bit different on a color top well, it looks like it's a san and young signature and in the bottom let's flip it around here zoom in yeah you can see some copyright stuff made by the usbc and in the back it is the same as the front almost except that it has a skull and a roller derby helmet with a spade pip on it but the rest Sammy Young's derby deck roller derby playing cards is the same seals just a standard USB-C seal right on the flap you get the four pips and here we get that same images the roller skate and the skull from the front and back of the tuck case inside you will find an ad card. It's a San and Young's Derby deck. It was created by Sandbox Mode LLC and San and Young. Buy more Derby decks and check out our future products at derbydeck.com. Not sure if they have any future products right now. The other side says San and Young, foreveryoungtattoo.com. And you see some tattoo artwork. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Very interesting, actually, and colorful. You also get a double backer. As you can see, it is a one way back both because of the color and also the artwork you see here we got a girl some paint on her face a skull flip it around it's got a star it's holding a heart and no paint on her face so pretty nice um a bit of a spider web in the corner and it's one of nice little details border similar to a writer back the other two corners a bit thick on the borders but you see that her head goes into the border and you cut that out it looks more like a regular size border but it is a minor thing um joker is first you get the the announcer for the roller derby that's about to say wing announcer <laughs> but that would be a wrestling deck it's pretty colorful it says joker in the corner is in white very colorful card the other Joker, it's the referee, and he's calling somebody on a play. It says Joker in the corners again. The Ace of Spades, uh, Ace of Spades, not Pades, <laughs> is the uh, skull with the spade pip on his helmet. The Ace of Hearts, it's got a bunch of hearts on there. It says Roller Girl. It's actually, uh, it looks like it's a knee pad. There's also a logo of some sort with a bandaid and a crutch and some scars. Pretty pretty cool ace of clubs you guessed it it's the roller uh skate with the club tip on there and the diamonds is a whistle and a stopwatch with a bunch of diamonds all around it <clears throat> everything is completely custom in this deck we get to the court cards they're one-way court cards those suit indicators but some of them actually have pips within them and they're pretty colorful fun a bit of a tattoo vibe to them Definitely a roller girl vibe to them. All of them actually have girls. Only one other deck I can think of that 
has girls throughout the courtyards and robots about it. <laughs> and that is the Virginia Slim's vintage decks. So that's pretty cool. It's just up there with one of the few decks that I know of that has only women on the court cards. Pretty fun, colorful court cards that really pop, stand out. They do have a border to them as well. Number cards, a little more straightforward, but still custom. And that's that. Um, overall, pretty cool deck. Put everything back inside very quickly. Produced by USPC, of course. Uh, some ratings. As far as the art is concerned, it's you know it's pretty good. As said, as a, a minor. Uh, I mean, the, there is a one-way back design. The border is a little bit on the thick side, but still usable. Still pretty cool. So it is completely custom. I'll say. Four out of five for the artwork, maybe four and a quarter out of five. Pretty nice. I'll say four out of five just because it is a one way and one way code cards, which is a bit of a turn off for some people. But I'm fine with it. You know, once upon a time I used to hate, absolutely hate one way back designs. But now I don't care at all. <laughs> uh, as for Usability, yes, it can definitely be used for playing cards or doing magic. I mean, the one way courts without suit indicators hurt it a little bit, a little bit harder to identify. It would have been nice maybe if they had thrown some kind of indication in there as to what the suit is as opposed to just the index, but that's just a minor thing. Overall, four out of five for it being usable for playing cards or doing magic. Handle-wise, printed by USPC. According to the project, it's supposed to be an aviator stock. Uh, smooth finish. It's not smooth finish. It's embossed. Not sure what happened to that. As for the stock, um, it could possibly be aviator. Or it could just be bicycle. I do know that it handles very nicely so far. Played with it a bit. No major issues there. So I will say at least 4 out of 5, maybe 4 and a quarter. Four and a quarter out of five, I will say, for handling wise. So overall, pretty good deck, pretty solid effort. Definitely, say four, four and a quarter out of five. Overall, I think it's pretty solid. And like I said, two decks for twenty-two bucks shipped worldwide. Absolute free shipping. All you have to do is send a PayPal payment to them at sandbox sandbox mode. LLC at gmail.com. In case you didn't understand that, it will be in the description below. And all you have to do is in the comment of the PayPal payment say that it is this offer. You have to mention it's the offer from Visa Save 32. And you get the decks. Links in the description. I will see you next time. Oh, don't forget to check out collectiblepointcards.com. Use the code Visa Save 32. 10% off your order. They always got a whole bunch of new decks coming in. So check it out. And comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.